think of Perseverance when I think of Starliner just because we've come such a long way. Being on this uh, Starliner program, there's been some ups and downs, but I, I would say we've worked through them and pushed through them, and our flight coming up for CFT is going to show it. It's really exciting. Um, you can feel the buzz around the office. Everybody's talking about it, that it's so soon. It means a lot to be this close to reaching our ultimate goal of launching our NASA crew to the International Space Station. It will be an amazing accomplishment. All the testing leading up to uh, this mission has been very successful. The goal is to work out all of um, the kinks and make sure, again, we can fly and operate safely. We want the Starliner to be as highest quality a product as possible, and, and that goes from software development to manufacturing systems in the factory. We think about it as a test flight, but we really work towards perfection. We find something that we can improve, we go ahead and we go do that work. The safety of our crew members is at the absolute forefront of my mind. We're not strapping an astronaut and we're strapping our friends in. You know, the crew is our precious cargo and, and everybody understands that. It's great that they have a relationship. I think it, it really makes the work that we do become more personal. To have such um, legends from the human spaceflight world kind of be our North Star as we're navigating our way to the crewed flight test. It's kind of hard to describe how really special it is. They know us and recognize us and they become part of our team. They run tests with us. Working with Butch, he is very honest with his experience and his feedback, which I think is really important. I find him, uh, beyond being a, a very accomplished pilot, he's a man of faith uh, and a, a, a brilliant engineer. He's, he's very sharp-minded um, and has a pretty, good, uh, a pretty good sense of humor as well. Working with Sunny Williams has been an honor, you know, not just because she's a, an astronaut with human spaceflight experience, right, but because she is another fellow woman in STEM. Sunny is everybody's astronaut. She is the most approachable person in the, in the crew office by far. I've never seen her pass up an opportunity to speak with, with a young person, which helps our agency. It, it, it inspires the next generation of space explorers. Having them so well integrated into various aspects of reviews and you know milestones has just helped us build that trust. There are challenges in what we do. It's not easy, but when everybody rolls up their sleeves, puts their head down, that's that's the rewarding part to, to be part of it. I I've never worked with a team like this before in my career and I I maybe I won't ever again. I mean, we just we're, we've become family. Launch day is, is really the beginning of, of a journey. Uh, it's the first step towards completing the mission. It's gonna be such an incredible feeling and when I see this vehicle and launch, I don't even know if I can put it into words. You know, um, it's probably going to remind me uh, of, a, of a younger self who maybe occasionally caught a launch here and there on TV and always wondered, um, oh, like, how did they make this happen? Like, how did they get there? I get to strap them in. I get to be the last phase they see before they leave this planet. So it's very exciting. I can't wait. And until that door opens and that crew gets out safely, that's when we'll celebrate. That's the true end of the mission, right? I uh, talked to a lot of people before, and, and that's what I look forward to. I mean, certainly getting a uh, successful launch, successful dock, uh, but we got to get home. It's just going to be an immense sense of pride that we accomplish something that is so, so difficult to send humans to the harsh environment of space and back safely. As soon as they get out of that vehicle, I think everyone's going to take that breath and we're like, oh, they're here, they're safe. Today, you know, we are launching Starliner to ISS, but tomorrow, we don't know what future 
space destination Starliner will get to. What we would all like for this program is to be flying out into the, into the late into this decade, well into next decade, with supporting not just the NASA and the International Space Station, but other low Earth uh, station providers. I feel like the future should be bright for us, honestly, if everything goes great with our uh, CFT flight and we all pass. I feel like the future will be bright. To everyone that I've met on this program, it's not just a job. It's a dream that we are making come true. Thank you.